Hello there. Welcome to the React Masterclass by My Project Ideas. I am Mohit, your tutor, and today we'll we are going to see how to structure our files in our project, and what is the optimum approach for structuring the folders in different conditions. And I will also show you the bulletproof folder structure for the React project. So basically, we are going to explore the folder structure inside of our React project. And what should be the optimum folder structure? So first, let's just see what we have to do. So how to structure the files in our project? So first, we have to see what is inside the React project folder structure. Our only goal is to edit inside of the SRC folder. So just make sure, just as shown in this image, we only have to create the folders inside this SRC folder. And the basic approach is to group the same type of files together. Suppose like uh, you have to make your custom hooks and custom utility functions, then you can group them together in a folder. We will leave the following files as they are. The files I mentioned here, like app.jsx and main.jsx. An assets folder is for placing the images and other multimedia files together with the icons and front faces also. So let's just see. So here we came back to our React project inside of which we are going to see what are these things. Let me collapse all the folders. All things we have to do is inside the SRC folder. So inside the SRC folder, there's an asset folder inside of which you can store your images and multimedia files. Like I can create a folder for images too. And just like for icons too. And other things. You can also create a separate folder for the fonts. So you can store your font faces inside this folder. And components folder we have already seen like uh, we have to store all the components inside this components folder. And just like the components folder, there will be another folder called uh, pages. And just like components, components contains the component files. The pages will contain the page files. Just like, uh, let me make a, a dummy file for you, page1.jsx. So just like it is a page one component. Actually it is a component, but in future we will see how to make the React page. And just like that, uh, there is a, another folder called utils. Mm, okay, collapse them all in the SRC. I will make it called utils. So what this folder will contain is uh, utility functions or the files which contain the utility function. So utility functions are those functions which we will use throughout the project or are the basic functions just like date formatting and uh, string formatter, email formatter or something like calculating a particular value and other things. So this is for the utility. So let's see how to structure files in our project. We can make the components folder for placing all the frequently used UI components as we have seen some of those, these things already, but uh, I'm not wasting time of you. Like in the case of TypeScript, in the case when we use TypeScript, we can define a separate folder for storing types too. Just like this as shown in this image. And we can also make the custom hooks on our own. So you can also make a separate folder for the custom hooks that you define. So what are hooks? Hooks are the functions that are provided by the React.js for the state management and other things. So just like that, we can make our own custom hooks. That's why there is a separate folder for custom hooks too. So it depends on you. And in the future, we are going to explore the React hooks in depth. And we can also make the custom hooks on our own. We have already seen that. So we will cover the folder structure for the context API later. Context API is a separate and broad topic for which we are going to cover it later. So there is a separate folder called context just for the context API. So this will be very complex if I have shown you here. That's why we are going to cover it in the context API tutorial itself. So what are the other ways of uh, grouping the particular type of files? 
the other general ways are to group the logic and styles together or you can say that to group the component and css files together or but the project scales the number of files also grows this may sometimes cause confusion but it is helpful in lot of cases for example you place the css files and javascript files together inside a folder called employee which is stored inside a folder called features so this is a separate folder like what you understand from these things so that's why you can make a structure like this also there may be many other ways to create the folder structures but find the best suitable way that suit yourself generally recommended is the bullet proof way that i have shown you already in the previous slide so congratulations now you know how to create a folder structure for your react project and from the next tutorial we are going to see what is rendering inside of the react.js and we will further explore how the rendering works inside the react.js that is the most important concept that is going to be and i am very excited to see you in next tutorial